Hello, dear students. Another question about uh, current electricity. We have a network in which different resistors are connected, and we have to find the effective resistance between X and Y. Okay, now we suppose this resistance is R1, this is R2, this is R3, and this is R4. Okay, now we solve this is uh, as this is complex network in which we don't know about the which one resistor in series and which one is parallel so first we solve this circuit okay so simply uh, this r3 and r4 are parallel to one another if we close look then we can understood that r3 and r4 are parallel first we solve this r3 and r4 so how it, how they are parallel so this is r1 this is r2 and now you can see that this one r3 is look like this one r3 if we draw this point to here no problem okay so r3 and then r4 now we can look that r3 and r4 because the both ends are connected if two uh, resistors having both ends are connecting so they are parallel to one another so it means the r3 and r4 are parallel so first we solve r3 parallel r4 so r3 parallel r4 r3 parallel r4 so as we know that each resistor is 2 ohm so 2 multiplied 2 over 2 plus 2 that gives us 4 over 4 that is gives us 1 ohm so so the solved uh, simplified circuit is so x and y x resistor r1 then y resistor r2 and then R3 and R4, R3, 4, we can say that this is R3, 4. That is equal to 1 ohm. 1 ohm. R2 and R1 are 2 ohm. 2 ohm. So we can see that R2 and R3, 4 combine R in series. So R2 is in series with the series with R3, 4. Okay now we as we know that these two are in series so uh, equivalent resistance is just addition of these two plus one so two ohm plus one ohm that gives us three ohm three ohm so r two three four combine uh, combined resistance is three ohm now we simplified this circuit okay so r1 r1 that is two ohm then r two three four R234 all combined resistors is actually 3 ohm and finally these two are in parallel just we can if we look that x and y points so so we can say this is R1 and R2 are in parallel combination because R1 left end is connected with the left end and the R, R1 right end is connected with the right end of the R2 so R1 R2 are in uh, R1 and R uh, two three four combine are parallel, so we can write that two multiply by three two multiply by three divided by two plus three two multiply three divided by two plus three that gives us three to the six over two multiply three three plus two five six over five so six over five that gives us one point two ohm that is the effective resistance is one point two ohm okay. So I have another way to solve this one. So this is method one how you can write one uh, one point two. Okay. Now with, if in this in in such a situation if we have x and y two points, so we can also simplify by using this principle. For example, this is x. This is y point. Okay. This is y point, and you can see that in between x and y there is a two ohm resistor that is R one. R one. In between we have R one resistor then as we can see that r2 left end is connected uh, sorry r2 left end is connected to 2 r2 left end is connected to r2 r2 and r2 r2 other end is connected one end is connected to r3 r3 and its other end is connected to r4 r4 and then R4 and R3 both are combined with the R1. 
that that are connected to for this is y point is in this one here so both are connected to y point r and y point is connected to r1 so this is now you can justify that r3 and r4 you can look, look that r3 and r4 are in uh, r3 and r4 are in parallel combinations for solve them that gives us r3 parallel to r4 that gives us one ohm resistance then when uh, simplify the circuit and uh, uh, r2 r2 and r3 4 are in series r3 4 are in series and then r solve them solve them r2 and r3 so r2 3 r2 3 4 resistor is in in parallel with the r1 is parallel with the r1 so this is x point this is y point now how you can solve the another way of thinking is this one okay so by take x and y these two points and then uh, draw simplified diagram and then you can solve this one okay so i hope it will be work so thank you the over uh, option correct option is the 1.2 ohm okay thank you